If a World War II aircraft carrier is in the middle of recovering a squadron of planes, or simply clearing a crash landing, how do you go about getting scout planes in the air to keep an eye on the enemy? Well, if the deck is fouled, why not launch them from the hangar? When the World War II aircraft carrier became the centerpiece of naval strategy, carrier design was constantly advancing, leading to all kinds of technical innovations. One of these innovations was the hangar catapult. Before the angled deck was introduced, World War II aircraft carrier designers had to figure out how to quickly launch scout aircraft. Even when the straight deck flat top was a chaotic mess or undergoing recovery operations. The solution was to install a catapult that ran across the beam of the aircraft carrier's hangar bay with big doors on each side. This way a scout plane or two could be rapidly launched when the top deck was fouled. Very few details exist when it comes to launching aircraft from the hangar deck. The hangar catapult was installed on the first six Essex-class aircraft carriers. The Yorktown CV-10, the Intrepid CV-11, the Hornet CV-12, the Ben Franklin CV-13, the Bunker Hill CV-17, and the Wasp CV-18 except for the USS Essex herself, which was rushed through construction after the Pearl Harbor attack, before the catapult components were complete. The aircraft were launched out of the forward area of the hangar bay, in either direction through two massive hangar bay doors. Sponson extensions jutted out from either side of the open hangar bay when the catapult was in use. These catapults had a shorter stroke than the upper deck systems, and the aircraft did not have the benefit of the wind blowing over the deck to help get airborne. Pilots often had to deal with a nasty crosswind due to the aircraft carrier's forward motion. Therefore, it was a wild ride for crews to get airborne from the hangar deck. There were several problems with this hangar catapult design. The hangar bay had to be clear in the area of the catapult when a scout airplane was on alert or due to be launched. The Navy also developed scouting procedures that utilized planning and coordination with other nearby carriers. But above all else, the introduction of radar made scout planes far less important for early warning, rendering the hangar catapult obsolete. Except on board the USS Hornet CV-12, the hangar deck catapults were removed from the carriers entirely during ship refits in 1944 and 1945 and two deck catapults were installed instead. 